unlimited iron and fast. We answer the question, what plant do you need for an iron farm? Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today we are answering one of your emails. Dear OMG Craft, I really need your help. I heard of an iron farm, but I can't figure out how to farm iron. Is there a special plant that I'm missing? I'm your biggest fan, awesome sauce. Uh, no, you actually don't need a plant to do an iron farm. That's just a term of saying a contraption for gathering a lot of iron. And there are a lot of really great plans out there for making iron farms. Uh, the general idea is that you're going to use a lot of doors and villagers to trick the game into thinking that there is a village nearby which will spawn iron golems. You kill the iron golems, you get their iron. Voila, unlimited amounts of iron. So some of the great plans are from Trunks. He made one of the very first iron harvesters. Then L, uh, JL2579 made some improvements. And that's the, the design that a lot of people are familiar with because that's the basis of the design that Doc uh, M77 used for his iron farm. And that's a very popular one. There's a great compact design by Nims TV. And there are also super effective builds by Tango Tech, but those are a little bit more complicated in theory, and so I'm not going to get into them. But if you want to see any of those, uh, you can head on over to our show notes. So here is a very simple build on how to make an iron farm. Here is our very super simple iron farm. And if you are familiar with iron farms already, you'll notice that this isn't a super effective or... Um, uh, or, you know, it's a fast iron farm. This is just a very simple one to kind of learn the concept. So here's what's going on is uh, we've raised this just about 10 blocks off the ground just to kind of give us some room for some stuff underneath. But then uh, we have created a platform and this is a uh, 18 by 18 space inside. If you're uh, counting the walls, it's 20 by 20 because you add two blocks uh, one for each wall. Then we have six doors, four doors, and then six doors. So lots and lots of doors. The reason there's so many doors is that the game determines how many buildings are in a village based off of how many doors there are uh, with one block above it. So this block right here is what makes the game classify this as a building and a door that a villager may stay in. Then you don't just need doors, you do need villagers. So we have the villagers over here. You need at least 16 villagers for iron golems to start spawning. Uh, so four villagers in four different pockets around the edge of uh, this farm will get your recommended amount of villagers for the game to start spawning iron golems. Then in the middle, we've used some water techniques to make sure that that all flows in. Uh, there's, of course, a difference between flowing water and water source blocks. So the places that I put water source blocks are right here and right here in front of these two doors. And I can go ahead and break them. Uh, with uh, this stone and now uh, you can see that it doesn't quite reach but if we break this stone and then add our water source blocks back one and two then it flows all the way uh, over to this opening and then uh, right here we've made this corner this is seven blocks long so if you want to count that out it's seven blocks long and then we just put one water source block uh, up here in the corner if we were to break this by removing uh, that water of course uh, that uh, stops flowing, and you get a break in the water uh, right here up to uh, kind of the chute that the iron golems fall down into. And so that's how the general idea of this farm. You could make this much more efficient by adding a second layer on here. So if we uh, just start 
making another layer. Of course, that would add double the capacity. In its current state, we're going to get about one iron golem every six minutes, which, as you can imagine, is kind of a long time. Uh, I have been uh, counting, and currently we're about, I would say, 50 minutes into waiting around. And you can see we have 16 iron ingots and a few poppies, because when iron golems uh, die, they also bring poppies. Now, just to show it off, kind of what we're expecting to have happen, I'm going to go into the creative inventory and grab some iron blocks, and then I'm going to grab a pumpkin and spawn an iron golem. And you'll see what happens when he falls down into this chute. We have uh, some lava, and this lava isn't flowing anywhere because this area is being taken up by signs. These signs are taking up each block uh, of a space, and so it kind of looks like it's floating here. And this is two blocks above the ground. Iron golems are three blocks high, and so their heads will fall into this lava and catch them on fire. Now, you may also be wondering, well, what about this fall damage that they might, uh, they might take by falling this far? Well, actually, iron golems don't take any fall damage. Uh, they could fall from the very height of build limit and hit the ground or hit bedrock and they wouldn't hurt themselves. So that's something you don't have to worry about. So let's quickly just build an iron golem here. Bloop. And there he goes. So let's just assume that he had just spawned in naturally, which will happen over time. He falls down and in the chute, he falls, his head catches into the lava and he, uh, it the, an iron golem has 50 hearts of health. So it takes quite a while for him to die, and then he drops his iron ingots and poppies. And we can here, we can quickly pull these out to see how much he dropped. He dropped two poppies and five iron ingots. That's pretty freaking amazing uh, for just waiting around for about six minutes. So that's the general idea of an iron farm. A few tips when you are building your own iron uh, golem farm is that you should be at least 100 blocks away from the nearest village. Otherwise, that will interact with where the golems uh, spawn because there's one village, another village, and they'll kind of spawn in the middle and it'll cause all sorts of problems. And also, when you're building this, the hardest part of the entire build will normally be getting the villagers into those little cups. But remember, you really only need two villagers, and if they have enough doors, they'll decide to mate on their own. Don't look when it happens. Uh, but uh, they'll just make more and more. So if you get two villagers into one of those cups, they'll go ahead and just breed until there are enough to satisfy the limit for the iron golems. And if you want to build extra layers, you can. So if you want to build sort of one um, let's call it a unit with uh, two layers on top of it. If you want to build another one, aim for about 70 blocks up into the sky and that way they won't interact with each other and you can have two units of production. People will even string multiple of these towers together. You could have about four in an area and have lots and lots of stuff spawning. Of course, check out the show notes because there are videos of more compact iron golem farms than what I showed you here. I just wanted to show you the basics. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to future episodes, head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft or youtube.com slash omgcraft. And uh, feel free to send us mail or feedback at mail at omgcraft.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.